just, uh, and we're going to go a little bit further with this, in Genesis 10 now, then this makes sense, that these three sons begin to divide up and beget children, and the, the one is dealing, the first one is dealing with Japheth, the Gentiles. See, verse uh, 5, uh, by these, by these sons of Japheth, and it gives you their names. By these sons were the nations, or the isles, of the Gentiles, divided in their lands, every one after his tongue, after their families. After their and look at the sons of Ham and see how his seed was divided up. Uh, and, and then go to verse 21 and see Shem's children and they, how they were divided up and trace those genealogies right on through the scriptures from that point. And you'll see that now by nature, by nature, we would be Gentiles. But when we get into the New Testament, the Gentiles, by Acts, the 10th chapter, Christ is doing away with the Gentiles as he did away with the Jew when he came. See, John, the first chapter said, but he came unto his own, the Jew. Jesus said salvation is of the Jew. In Luke 1, salvation is of the Jew. But when Christ then made that proclamation, come unto me. All of you that labor in rebellion. When he let the Gentile woman granted her healing, that was a picture of Christ healing the, the gap between the Jew and Gentile and the sons of Ham, the sons of Cain, sons of um, Japheth and Sham. He brought it back together. Adam, the first Adam, separated. His, his nature in Noah yeah. separated the nations. But Christ, in his nature of God, brought the nations together and opened the door so that no one could look at the other one and say, you're not of that seed. I'm this seed. You're not of that seed. No, we can't do that. That's why Christians had better not, they better not have any prejudice in their spirit they better not have any bigotry in their spirit. You cannot look at your brother or sister except in one light and one light only. That is Christ in them, the hope of glory. They are the same seed you are. They're the same nationality you are. They're the same nature you are in Christ. We are sons of God. We are sons of God. Now, uh, when, when, and this, th th these two pictures uh, shows us now um, in in the, in in Isaiah 65. Let's go to Isaiah 65 um, and first verse one. Verse one. I love this subject. You see, I like to know where I, somebody said, "I want to find my family tree." <laughs> we'll start with Jesus Christ yeah. <laughs> and your birth in the Spirit. Amen. When were you born of the Holy Ghost? When were you born of the Holy Spirit of God? When did you become a child of God? Yeah. Your family tree started right there. Yes, sir. Oh, no, mine started with hundreds, hundreds, thousands. Well, you're talking about your natural. You can't go to heaven with your natural tree. You have to get back in the tree mm -hmm. of life. That's your family tree. If you're a son of God, your family tree is, is Jesus Christ. He's the propagator of the seed that you are. So here in Isaiah 65. Um, well, Marlo, I'm sorry. Uh, one of my, well, Luke is a newcomer of this church, and he, he told me that uh, the message that you had yesterday really did a work in his life. And it says that um, there's certain things that he didn't understand in the scripture, but what you said yesterday really opened up his mind. He I thank God. 
about the same subject you just talked about. I thank in, God. Uh, verse 22, and the same chapter, the, uh, the ninth chapter. Yeah. <laughs> That's people up there. <laughs> the, uh, the same chapter, the ninth, the ninth chapter of Genesis, verse 22. All right, let's go back to Genesis 9, 22. Yes, sir. All right. All right. We want to get this right, don't we? Mm -hmm. We want to help our brothers, don't we? 9.22. Let me, I, I went way over in Isaiah. Let me get back over here. 9.22. All right. 9.22 um, is, and Ham, the father of Canaan. And we know there was no Canaan there at the time, but he was the father. Saw the nakedness of his father. He committed incest with his father's wife. His own mother. His mother. He was judged for that. That law that later Moses instituted judged him, even though the law was not in effect as far as the written law. But it judged him because God hated that sin. Hates it today. Um, see, he uncovered his father's nakedness. Um, uh, saw the nakedness of his father and went and told his two brethren without. Uh, that would be normal for a brother to, uh, you know, uh, the younger brother to try to get some prestige with the two older brethren. Yeah. Say the younger the younger brother is trying to say, hey fellas, yeah. hey fellas, look what I've done. Yeah. Look what I've done. You know that's the nature. Sure. It's the nature of a younger brother. He wants the attention of the two older boys. Look, you're not the only one that can climb that tree. I climbed it. You're not the only one that can swim that river. I swam it. You know. And uh, so that, that's the nature of, of, that, of that boy. That's his nature. All right? Now, let's go a little bit further here. And uh, did that get did that, that understanding? His, his question were, was he said that uh, why that God punished all three of them? Because one, it was one that committed the sin. He only, he only punished the two. But he said, why is it and the three one should have been the, uh, it's only one should have been punished, but why did the, uh, he always wanted to know why? Because, because there were two involved in the act. And there was one that was the corrupt fruit. So all three had to be judged by the judgment of God. Brother Ray. It doesn't really say in any of this thing in Scripture about the wife. No. Uh, it just, but let's, let's, uh, it's vital to get your connecting Scripture. Okay. In Genesis, um, I mean, in, in Leviticus, let's go back to that again. Leviticus 20 and 11. 20 and 11. Let's all get Genesis, uh, Leviticus 20 and 11. Because... Uh, this, this is vital that we we get that. Um, all right, now it's on the screen, and you have it in your Bibles. And the man that lieth with his father's wife hath uncovered his father's nakedness. So that God would not have judged Ham as severely as he did in his seed if there had not been someone he was committing that sin with. Right. And and the sin he committed with was his father's wife. His father's wife. He committed that sin. And when he committed that sin, he exposed his father as he took away the honor of his father. He uncovered his father 
as the figure of dominion in that house, the ruler of that house. That father was not the ruler of that house. He had allowed sin to come in by his act of becoming drunken, uh, drinking the wine and becoming drunken. And he, he no longer was protecting his house. He, they were naked. And he uncovered that. Um, that's why God judged that See, Now all of this is a type and a picture later, later for God to bring back together that which sin separated. The Bible has two pictures. One of sin separating man from God. And the other is the picture of God bringing man back to him. Um, those two pictures, they're, they're the way that man was separated from God by sin, and then the way that salvation reconciled man back to God. That's the two pictures of the scripture. Uh, and every lesson it gives, one of those two lessons, it gives that. Um, okay. Did they actually put him to death? Uh, here, they, there's no record of that. Oh, okay. But later in that law in, um, that Moses gave, then there was a law. So the law said any Israelite committing this sin would be put to death. Yeah. Would, would um, uh, I believe, doesn't Leviticus 20 yeah. and, uh, show that? Yes. 20, 11, and 12 show that? Yes. It's also in 18.8. And it's also an 18 and 8, you say? Um, so th that shows that they had to be put to death if they committed that sin. Here in Genesis, it just shows that they were cursed. That God, uh, Noah actually pronounced the curse. He, he, he's the one that pronounced the curse. 